literally two hours to get here. Let's play pickleball. Well, she went for it on point one, and we all know in rec play the long point, and you have the what score is it, where am I, what's happening, and that is the commentary version we're in right now after that last one. Uh, that's a great jump of the corner from Federico Staxrude. Just such an explosive mover. There's a good look at Jack Sock, who has taken pickleball by storm, looking to make a final here. Came up short against Connor Garnett in singles. Is playing with Julian Arnold tomorrow. We'll get to that tomorrow. That's going to be something to behold. But this duo is on the go. I do not expect lengthy dinking in this match. No, it, it's going to be a very different <laughs> situation than what we just saw. Yeah, I mean, had her all out of sorts wow. with that Rats mid, time. yeah, mid-paced roll on the backhand side, and I love it when he does that. <laughs> Go ahead and try. Yeah, keep going. And the reason why I love it is because he loves to run around that backhand. And I would like to see him more often start with the backhand and finish with the forehand. sitting over to the backhand side. She switches over to the forehand and still pulls the paddle back. Oh my, Fed got exactly what he wanted. Yeah, he kind of showed a bit of frustration on that, and he wants that ball back. We'll get another opportunity. Uh, Jack doesn't need to do all the offense. Yeah, and this is a, this is a tough spot for Laura Bacher. Dinking with Catherine Parento, not a great situation. Attacking Jack Sock, not the best situation either. That so. sounds very suboptimal. Yeah, no, not, not great. So she has the ability to figure it out. But it's definitely going to be something to monitor. Possibly finding some offense cross court at Catherine could be an option. But uh, just fully going for it. At Again it. here indoors. Five, zero, two. Oh, no, he did not. What a read. Yeah, he went for it, and he had a little smirk over to the bench. <laughs> His North Carolina crew and, of course, Athena Truyo that you mentioned over there. And, yeah, he, he's a showman. Oh, he is. We love it. Through and through. Then he gets Rachel to try stuff like that, which she got away with. But that, that's a nine out of ten situation, not for Rachel. Yeah, and she found the, the one. one. She yeah. found the one. Good for her. She found the one. Yeah, just so much spin, and he's he's mixing his paces better. Just just a couple yeah. tournaments ago, I, I'm not sure how much mid-paced action he had, and just just improving leaps and bounds. Well, that was much better yes. than, a, than a 9 out of 10 situation there. That was a good spot to the right hip and a quality attack from Rachel Rohrabacher. So they're finally on the board. Let's see if that gets them going. Well, there's that start. Right and we, we know the wrist 
is great on the forehand, but he has it on the backhand too, like I mentioned, and he's finding it more and more frequently. Second That's serve. a, we're going to get to know each other and how we play better, because Catherine would usually destroy that, but then here comes this Six, one, two. dude flying in there. Yeah, I know she missed it, but she wasn't really, the swing looked pretty good. She yeah. wasn't really phased from a very hard pump fake from Jack Sock. Yeah, and when he has that length and that movement one, ability, six, it's one. just something that she is going to have to deal with. Trust me, she's happy to deal with that and not deal with it on the other side of the net. Correct. Two, six, one. Point. First Cobra sighting. Yes, and uh, did not end up winning that. No, he that didn't. Rally. And gets that paddle Three, out there, six, flings one. it around. Second serve. A little bit of his singles game, which has been on point all year long. Bev will play in the singles final against Connor Garnett. Three, six, two. looking for the body there. And he hasn't done that too frequently. He's, he's more picking his spots and going middle a lot with the forehand. So great counter attack from Federico. Love this response after being down 6 nothing. Oh, an easier ball than the one before. Oh, it definitely was. And I think Catherine missed her spot. She was looking to go more line, but worked out. So let's get into the, they're returning to Jack, even though he's got that vicious forehand. After this, let's talk about why. Four, two. And we see Catherine uh, do a bit of poaching with Annalie Waters, but I wouldn't say her crashing she's known for. And returning to Jack keeps him back. But you have to worry about him crashing as well. He, he does the solo shake and bake as well as anybody. Of course, shake and bake being drive and poach, a very, very popular tactic, especially in mixed Four, balls. Seven, one. Really nice from Fed right there. Yeah, I think she missed her spot earlier and it worked out. That time she hit it just like she wanted to, but too good from Federico. Five, seven, one. Just diving down. Just really has figured out that part of the game. The South Carolina tennis superstar. Yeah. Six, Just seven, one. ridiculous spin so early in her career. Yeah, she looks scared to death to step in there in front of Jack Sock. Yeah, I was, I was, like I said, I was a little worried about her. Tough. Carries over 100%. Here. Yeah, that sticks with you. That's, seven, ne seven, that, that's never gone. Love it that Second serve. nothing has, that happened early on has deterred her whatsoever. Nope. <laughs> She's seven, just seven, firing two. away still. Point. I mean, she. It's almost like she relishes the opportunity to attack the top males in Eight, the game. Seven, she, she's done it from the very beginning and with success. But then the depth on the shot did as well. Good scrap from Sock. Yeah, and some real positive emotion from Jack Sock after that one. 
pretty lighthearted out there. He, he wanted that point and he got it. This, this really is what I expected. You have clear alpha beta on the far end with Sock and, and Catherine Printo, and you have 1A and 1B offense with Rora Bacher and Federico. Yeah! And I think 1A offense is Rachel, and 1B oh. offense is yeah. Red. And she's laughing. Jack, Jack uh, gave a little yell and a little, little extended look at Rachel at uh, that one. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> but what? What? That's, what? What? That's, what's wrong? What happened? Yeah. What's wrong with that? That's impressive Five, athleticism. Eight, but this, folks, is an illegal shot because he can't. Find out. I mean, what a deep return, Jack. Reasonable, as good a position as you could be after eight, that nine, return, one. but couldn't get it over. So they stop him from getting to ten. Wow, and the handle off the tape from Catherine there is remarkable. You have to use it once a match when we talk about Catherine. Balletic? Balletic? Yeah. Is what yes, it is. balletic, yes. Yeah, it's just so pretty. Unbelievable spin and a stare. And, and, and Sock, he, he, he plays the mental game as good as him. Yeah. He's having fun, he's lighthearted, but he, he knows to, where to poke and prod his opponents to possibly get a freebie or two. Second serve. Very short return, which was going to be a problem, but he can't come up with that one, so another shot to get to 10. 9-8-2. high-level tennis like Rachel did and Fed did. When you were playing Jack Sock, that has a win a game point number one. I'm trying to reverse jinx here. Let's see how I did. Oh, and it worked. So I'm not cheering for anyone, but that is indeed the first game for Jack Sock and Catherine Parento. They were pushed, but... The official ball of the PPA Tour Start there for Federico and Orebacher, who actually you're right, you're outplayed Sock and Parento after that first couple yes. of minutes. But the first couple of minutes was an issue. Yeah, they do count, unfortunately. Nope. I mean, Second serve. destroyed, but just <laughs> too much of the left hand pulled through there. And Catherine just kind of chuckled, like, oh, goodness, we'll, we'll, we'll take it, but. turned her back to the court because Jack is just flying in front of her. You gotta, you gotta get out of there. So, Balletic, when she's hitting the ball or getting out of the way of her partner. I think that caught. Yeah, he took a long look at it, Jack did. And he, didn't, he didn't put the finger out or say out. So that's gonna stand. Play. Two, two, two. Oh boy. 
really close. Yeah, he's got six people on the bench back there, and, and he asked them, and nobody nope. nobody had anything to say. So Don't I think gave him comfort. I think it's the right right call. Three zero two. Just a pop-up. Very, very, very good scrambly point throughout, and Catherine rarely leaves one high. She did there, and Fed finished. Four, zero, two. Point. That ball is going to hit the video board, but Jack couldn't get the pass. Sometimes your great hand speed is a detriment. You still want it, but uh, five, zero, two. five in a row and a absolute 180 from the first game. Side out. A little high on the third from Federico. A good decision from Catherine to go back behind him Zero to the backhand five, side. A nice job there from Catherine. To just crush that two-hander in the middle. Fed got one back, couldn't get one, two back. Five, one. Second serve. Just crushing. Full release. Just not even, no bunting, no one, pushing, five, no guiding of the <laughs> ball. None of that applies to Rachel Rohrabacher. and not the most well-disguised drop shot no. from Federico. But I, I think three or four months from now, Five, Jack's one, not going to try a lob in that spot. Too big a swing on that one, and it's 6-1. Point. 6-1-1. Wow, the serve kept Catherine on the left side there. Yeah, and she got in pretty quickly to take a ball Six, out of the one, air, two. take a little time away from Warbacher. Yep. Side out. Just almost two different one, matches six, you, could, you could even <laughs> put together. People ask Point. about the appeal. This is a great example right here. This is the same sport on the same court on the same 20 by 44, wildly different. And, and all the levels similar. Yes. But so it's not, yeah, it's not like one team of the four is way better. Nope. They just do different parts Point. of the game better. Yeah, they do. And a nice, nice balance there from Jack Sock, who is just Three, six, fully one. leaning in all the way to the kitchen and great job by him. It's gotta be out. And I, yeah, I, I don't hate the idea at all. So uh, ball clearly out, but hadn't tried it yet. And it pairs Four, nicely six, with one. her stroke on her speed ups and dinks. Ball got to look. Second serve. Lux almost got punched. Yeah, a little, little mock Lux punch there. Four, and six, two. Didn't seem like much, but really haven't seen that from Sock too often. Side out. Yeah, and that's, that's the tough one there is he steps off the court to speed that Six, ball up. Four, He's one. so explosive getting back. What what does Catherine do? I think she was in the right spot on that shot, but it's tough to know where he's going to be. Second, Second lob, but it goes deep. 
and she just yeah. kind of throws the arm up and puts it on the forehead like, no, not two, Rachel. Six, four, two. I think he's right. He tried to call Catherine off from hitting that ball. Yes. And it's tough on the sideline, especially when Catherine is moving. So good partner communication. She still hit it, but they won the point. Yeah, when you're ready to go on an Ernie, it's hard to like shut that Four, whole six, thing down. One. So they're within two, got the ball back. Oh. Second serve. Yeah, and he's, uh, his third shot drive percentage is lower than we've seen in Four, previous six, matches. Got to get that cleaned up. Side out. Serve stroke and forehand drive stroke are very similar. Six, four, one. Point. Yeah, he wants a timeout. I think it's a good time. Showing a bit of frustration. Seven, four, one, always, one, you know, we, we, we see him do so many amazing things. On Humana Time Championship in. Court, Dave Seven, Fleming four, with Adam one. Stone and Rora Bacher is roaring again in game two. Oh, terrific read from Fed. Second yeah, serve. Like the move to step over Seven, this four, ball. Two. Made him extend more than he wanted to. Point. Eight, four, two. Side out. I, I just love I just love seeing the emotions yes. out there. The looking to the heavens, the positive yeah. stuff, the negative four, stuff, the frustration. Eight, We've all been there before. And you can't even see the heavens. This is indoors. <laughs> <laughs> CP just not clean over the last couple minutes, nor Jack for that matter, four, and that's eight, why two. they're in a four point hole. Yeah, fill of the middle from Federico. And he didn't just Eight, get four, it back, one. he hit it with authority from the middle of the court. Point. And you want to talk about throwing a whole bunch of confidence behind Rachel Rohrabacher. She's winning cross court dink battles with Catherine. Nine four. Nine, four. Double Ernie and gets Point. the tag to go with it. Yeah, and the non cleanliness of play from Catherine and Jack. I'm not worried about them. I think they'll get it figured out. But you talked about the momentum momentum it gives Fed and Rachel, and I think that that's very palpable. I don't know if I've seen that quite seen that one from right in front of the body with the with the switched grip from Jack Sock. So he, he's tweaking his game, even though he's got a lot of it. Different match, zero, zero, much different two. game to game here. Who is going to grab the momentum this third in decider? Yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see if there's Fight any out. strategic changes from Prento Asak, who often are just zero, Catherine zero, Solid, zero, Jock, Jack, just go be be a crazy man out there. And if that didn't work, which it didn't Point. in game two, maybe just just a, a slight slowdown and a little more structure, not a one, lot zero, of structure, one, just no. a little more. Yeah, 
decent jam up from Catherine Prento cross court to Rohrabacher, but she got the ball just down enough to force Sock to try to try for too much. Right, that's the, the contact point on the third shot drive. It's really been an issue. I mean, the man's been repeating his mechanics for 20 something years. You got to feel like he's going to get it figured out. Point. Good late getting there, good drive. One, one, one. Hi, Fed. We'll see that on Sunday in the singles final. Yeah, he moves forward pretty well, I would say. Nice combination from him. Nothing one, Catherine one. can do. Look at that stay in. She knew she needed to get as low as she could because she was in a vulnerable spot, but Jack was hitting the ball as hard as he could, and they didn't win the point. Three, one, one. Yeah, that is just aesthetically looks odd. <laughs> I, I, I thought I thought my eyes had deceived me. Jack on the right, they're calling timeout. I am. The, the errors are really piling up for those two in a way I haven't quite seen from them in 2024. Jack will learn that the Point. best firefighter out there, meaning cleaning up messes, Catherine was ready to put that in play. They weren't in a five good one position, one. but my goodness, we're at 5 1, and they could switch with a massive lead here. Second serve. Yeah, and that's. And I don't hate it, but it's a little too far out wide and a little too low. So if, if that ball is in Five, one, another two. foot or two and a couple inches higher, then I'm okay with the cross court attack from her. And they will indeed go to the I'm other end of the yet. court. And she's not only neutralizing it, she's putting it where she wants to. So here we go. Tremendous drop from Rohrbacher, but uh, yeah, right on cue. But Jack, the he's a freak, and he showed it off in that point. One six one. So can they clean it up with the ball? That is, is Second serve. Not cleaned up as it gets right there. One six two. Right out. Just out of sorts, which you rarely say about Catherine. Yeah, and she's looking back to the bench, kind of Six, like, one, what, what's one. going on? So, somebody help me out. I'm just not hitting it clean right now. Oh, my. Second serve. And we saw a lot of jarring from Jack at Rachel at the end of game one. We haven't Six, seen it one, since. Two. We saw a little bit right there. Point. Backhand volley has not been there for Jack. And I, I love the step over on the initial ball to get the forehand in. You know, he he can Seven, he has one, the athleticism two. to make that play, but just the backhand Ernie twice now has let him down. Right out. And I'm sure Fed will remember that there's an absolute rocket launcher on the two-handed backhand. He doesn't need to run over and one, take that seven, one. one. Backhand dink of Sock sailing too far and Federico going straight up the line, which was definitely the right decision. 
Oh, my goodness. I called it a rocket launcher a second ago. There is Exhibit A. Seven, one, one. Point. Eight, one, one. job by Rohrabacher not pulling it all the way across court. Jack was thinking for sure she's going to hit her backhand to my backhand, but she went middle. And Sock and Parento better call what the score is right now. Point. Boy, that sails deep, and we are Ten at point. match point for Staxrud and Rohrabacher. Ten, one, one. And that will do it. What a dominant performance for Stackford and Rohrabacher. They are motoring into the semifinals. And, and you have to give them credit. I know Jack and Catherine didn't play their best game. Welcome back, everybody, to the Pickleball Central Indoor USA Championships. Rachel Rohrabacher and Federico Stackford take it in three. And they're standing by with us now. And I'll start with you, Fed. You were down six zip in game one. What changed? You guys were an absolute machine after that. Yeah, I think uh, <laughs> part of it had to be a little bit of that uh, uh, mixed doubles match that was before us. Uh, it was like two hours. I've never seen something like that. So <laughs> yeah, we got a little bit cold. But yeah, I mean, they're, they're, uh, they're going to uh, they're gonna shoot their the drives and, and it was working at the beginning, some bad bounces on the returns, uh, but then we found our game. Rachel, uh, similar to what Dave said, I I'm not gonna lie, I was a little worried about you guys after the first couple minutes and you completely flipped the script and played huge the rest of the match. Is there anything specific changed or do you just clean it up a little bit? I think just clean it up. I mean, like Fed said, we were waiting for a while, so just kind of gotta get a kick start. And you know when they come out with the drives and stuff it's I mean it's a lot at once but I kind of just told myself like to stay up there like you know Jack's not the only one who hits hard so gotta stay in there yeah and Rachel I mean early in your career I wouldn't call you a rookie anymore but you don't seem to be intimidated by some of these left side guys in front of you is that a point of emphasis or do you just you just go for it no matter who's out there definitely yeah it's just whoever's out there I just like gotta stick to my game right why would I change my game especially if it's working so so fed you're having quite a run here on this court you've already made the singles final you are one step away with Rachel, a big match coming up. How do you focus on that and not look too far ahead to say, ooh, I could be in two finals? No, I, I enjoy playing pickleball, so I ha I'm having fun, you know? Like, uh, when I'm playing, I'm having fun, and that's, that's what it's all about. Uh, I like indoors, so I'm, I'm, I feel comfortable here. I practice a lot of indoors uh, back home. Shout out to DNA uh, Training Facility in Fort Myers. So, uh, yeah, I just love, I love this place. Well, this place loves you. You guys are playing some terrific pickleball. Rachel Rohrabacher and Federico Staxrud moving on to the semifinals. Congrats, guys. We'll see you in a little.